Bitcoin. Let me again uh, try to use a whiteboard to go through about the basic stuff with that specific department what we have discussed day before yesterday. So our first module is general ledger module. It's none other than a department in finance, sub department is finance, which is going to act as a hub of accounts. Okay. How to get the complete command over this module to implement this in SAP? Why? Let's start from basic. Our first point was how to deal with ledgers. When you are dealing with ledgers, I told you there are two ways. Either your client is interested to train their users to deal with this activity like how to create, how to change, how to display, how to block, how to set as delete, how to take out the list for the printout, how to refresh, right? how to update. Everything is trained to the users. Next, this activity is not going to be in users' hands. But there is a specific team called MDG. Earlier, this team was known as MDM, Master Data Maintenance. Now, in an upgrade level, they are going to call it as MDG, Master Data Governance Team. That means any master data, not only general ledger, but if it is related to accounts payable, accounts receivable, assets, or cost centers, profit centers, internal orders, or any master data is given to these guys that whenever user is having any problem, like user got uh, a problem like with a duplicate of accounts, like there are two ledgers, only one in use, but anyway, I mean, one of the staff members have, you know, created at the same ledger a duplicate. Now they need to block it. And at the time, users are not authorized to touch the data. Then you have to send an email to these guys requesting them to block this or to set as a delete option. Okay. Now, if you want to change that, you know, ledger with some more features, then you have to send an email to them. Or else, what the second option is, if there is no proper budget to hire a specific team or to keep a specific team to look after this role, then you have to train the users. Is it clear now? Now, very first activity to cover this ledger is we must know how to create it, how to create the ledgers, then how to change them, how to display them if it is required to cross check whether a wrong account group has been selected. Suppose I'm creating a rent account and I have selected direct expenses instead of indirect expenses. Now definitely this is going to affect on your net profit or gross profit. Okay? So you, if you require to check this, then immediately you can display the parameters what you have selected to create that specific ledger, in which you have doubt that something went wrong. Then display option. Then block is that. You can block them. You can set as delete. Now you can't clear that ledger from the list, but you can set a flag as delete option. Okay? And so all these things. This is my first agenda for today's discussion. Okay. Now next, if it is successfully completed, we have time, then we'll go for posting. Posting in the sense, posting of transaction. Posting of transaction. This means all GL posting. Today we are going to see only general ledger posting that is JV or JE. So called journal entries or journal vouchers. Right. Now once this is done there are two ways. There are two types of postings. Sir, I have questions, sir. Go ahead. Uh, sir, posting transaction is, is end, end user work, sir, or uh, consultant work, sir? I'm coming to that one. I'm coming to that one. Okay. Let me complete okay. the explanation. Okay, thank you. And I give you an opportunity you. to uh, raise your query. Then please write it down. On, have one piece of paper and pen with you. And write it down yes, your questions. Okay. So when we have yes. time, then you can write it. Okay. Now here okay, sir. Okay, in SAP, you got two types of postings. 
one is complex posting okay another one is enjoy posting or so called easy posting easy or enjoy posting and this doesn't mean that enjoy posting doesn't mean that you are entertaining yourself while posting the transaction i'm sorry to say that but enjoy is nothing but more flexibility is given to the user on a screen okay i'll let you know how it is so right after that we will go for report and i don't think so it's possible in today's discussion to go with these three it will take enough time to complete the first ledgers then if you have time left then we'll go for first here also you got in depth information to be covered let's see how it looks now as far as this question is concerned when i have started general ledger module the basic configuration that is there are two jobs one is configuration configuration is a responsibility of consultants whose role to configure the system consultants next don't you know get confused about this configuration now the meaning of configuration in sap is specific to consultants the creation is for end users huh? remember this that's what the question which has been uh, raised by lejo i think in our first day discussion okay so when i'm discussing this general ledger here see this r to r basically this is a profile which is given to end user correct i hope there is no confusion now that means all these activities belongs to end user not consultants this is not a consultants job but yes as a consultant he must train users to use these features is it clear see the way i'm training you as a newcomer in sap the same way it's your job when a project is completed successfully you have to train users on these points then only they can use sap otherwise see one mnc we have implemented sap it's an implementation project implementation project means at least now you know that it's from scratch got it it's from scratch that means the staff so called four team members finance process owners or business process owners no matter they are working working on ap ar general ledger or assets or costing no matter where this area of specialization belongs to for these guys but they are new to sap maybe earlier they are working on oracle maybe they are working on tally okay maybe they are working on p3 these are american packages okay or free goods or decade okay all these are american packages or so called mini er which is used in market right so they are new to sap they don't know how to use this so as a consultant what i said your responsibility first your job is to set up a technology in an organization once this technology is ready it's your role to train these users okay to train these users to complete these jobs i hope now it is clear is there any confusion no sir the job or is there any confusion i'm clear let's go it's clear okay fine yeah yeah, yeah so I'm, let I'm me clear. proceed now fine so let's cover this point first let's concentrate on this first now as soon as you log in into the system see the people who are using online servers okay you may have some you know connection issues for a few seconds if you are using the remote desktop and if system is idle for a few minutes like we have gone for explanation and the system was idle so there was a message like reconnecting issue wait for few seconds it will get connected okay rest i don't know about the system which has been given to you for practice 
Okay, if the system is having problem, you can raise an issue to them. They will come forward for technical assistance. Okay. As far as this server is concerned, what I am using to train you guys is a remote desktop connection. Okay. So as soon as you log in to SAP, the first screen is ECP Easy Access. I hope Lejo and Shabir, you are aware what is Easy Access and all, right? Yeah. You said that you know you have gone through with initial classes. So this Easy That's Access right. is an area is for end user. End user. Now if end you user. have to configure, yes. If you have to configure the system, then SVRO. IMG implementation guide. Now this area, what you are seeing now is for executing a project. Means if you are implementing a project, then you can use this area. Otherwise, this is not an area which is authorized or approved to be used by user in live environment. I hope it's clear. So let me go back. You just use this button to go back. If you are here by mistake, as an end user. First of all, there is no possibilities in live environment to use the transaction code SVRO as an end user. If by mistake it is given, then also somewhere you have been blocked. Remember that. Okay, so as an end user in live environment, never ever try this transaction code. Otherwise, there is one transaction code which I am not going to reveal in front of you now, which gives the activity of a user to the administrator that if you ever try to execute those transaction codes in live environment, which you are not authorized for. I hope you got it. Even if your cursor is idle for 5 minutes or 10 minutes, even that get recorded. That's the technology. So stay away if you are not authorized for these transaction codes. Okay. Now, as I told you, creation of ledgers or a general ledger module creations, posting, reporting, every job is as an end user. So how to navigate? Can you see all these yellow boxes? What do you call in these boxes in technology? What's the normal name? What you're going to call for these boxes? Folder, right? Directory. What do you call it? Uh? Folder, folder. Directory. What we use folder. these boxes as a folder. But in SAP, you please use it as a node, as N-O-D-E. Call it as a node. Like earlier, the way you have used a navigation to open a company or company code or business area, you have navigated like, you know, uh, SPRO, then IMG, then enterprise structure. Okay. This is the navigation what you have used to create the company, like definition, financial accounting, and define company. You have created a company. So this is known as navigation, like SPRO, IMG. Enterprise structure, definition, financial accounting, then define company execute. See, this execute button is given exclusively for implementation and configuration part. But here, when you are dealing with end user, don't use SPROIMG. When you are writing a navigation in your document, I hope you guys are preparing a document also. Please prepare documents for your own references. A lot of people are asking me, right? Anwar, are you providing any document? See, I am wantedly not providing okay, a document. Why? Because I don't want you guys to get bounded with those specific papers. You go to the market and pay 100 rupees or 200 rupees, you are going to get the material for a 5 year. Honestly speaking, if you are thorough, 100% perfect on that material, you are not going to pass a single interview. Why? Because you have restricted yourself to that particular document. So here you got an opportunity. It's a live training. Why people used to call this as live training? Because you are like sitting with a consultant. Right? I am showing you how to come out of those circumstances where usually your document is not going to guide for. Are you getting me? Okay. So how to prepare a document for this is first you copy the navigation. So your navigation for end user must start with accounting. Why? Because we are related to accounting. Accounting, then come down. Use this. Right arrow, left arrow, up arrow, down arrow. Right arrow to open this, left arrow to close this. Up and down arrow is to navigate up and down. You can use enter button. Okay. Now right arrow, open this financial accounting. Now in this module we are, our first module, our first target is general ledger. 
When you complete this, we'll go for accounts payable, then we'll go for accounts receivable, then we'll complete assets. Then in accounts payable and accounts receivable, we need some banks also, right? So we'll go for bank accounting as well. So what you need every module is here. So let's start with general ledger. Open the general ledger. Now if you are ready with ledgers, you can use document entry for posting or else go for master records. What is master records? Initial information what you have to create which is used in posting of transaction. Like me, master records is just like creation. See, without ledgers, are you ready to post the transaction? Like, uh, let me use another session to explain you this. Now, our first target is to create the ledger. So I'll use the transaction code FS00. This is nothing but a short key, which you will come to know in a short time. Now I'll create this. Click on create. Or let me show you company code. What's our company code? What we have started with? R-E-T-L. -E so the moment, the moment I'm giving a company code R-E-T-L and pressing enter, see what system is saying? Specify an existing value. That means I haven't created even a single ledger here. Is there any ledgers we have created? No, we are about to. Yet to create. Okay. So, here, master records, when it is existed, then only you can post a transaction. So, first, let's concentrate on master data. Master data, GL accounts, individual processing, transaction code, FS00. See, there are three levels on which you can create your general ledgers, mean ledger accounts. I hope you people have gone for initial sessions, right? How many types of startup they come? Three times. Operating. Three times. Three times. Three times. Yeah. What's that? Operational Operation. startup account, group startup account, and, and country specific. Now, whenever you are creating a ledger, you have to create a net accounting group. See, this is an hierarchy. Now I'm trying to refresh you guys once again. Who is who? He is very important here. First chart of accounts, this is the hierarchy. Under chart of accounts, account groups. Okay. Under account groups, ledgers. And this is the reference. Now chart of accounts is the primary stock. Now chart of accounts in the sense, what is that chart of accounts? You are creating chart of accounts for RETF. That is nothing but a name which is given to a structure of accounts. Now, under RETL chart of accounts, your account group is indirect expenses or so called administration expenses. The other name for this is admin expenses. Now, under it, indirect expenses, I am creating rent account, okay, salary account, okay, convenience, right, office expenses. All these you can see. Is it clear now? Yes. So, if you have chart of accounts, then only you have created account groups in general ledger structure. Huh? So, if you have completed general ledger structure, you have a sense to understand what I am talking about right now. Okay. So, indirect expenses is a parent of ledgers. Is it clear or not? Now, what I have just asked you is a type of chart of accounts, right? So, first you got three types of chart of accounts and it's an interview question also. Remember this. Three types. What are they? First one is an operational chart of accounts. Second, group. group. Third, country specific. country specific. Suppose we are creating a chart of accounts which is used and practiced in US. Suppose we have gone through with GST. And we have few percentages which we use in India. Is it the taxes in India is same as taxes in US? No. Different. No. So that means you have to use some different ledgers which is not practiced in India. Okay. Now group chart of accounts in the sense maybe you are looking forward for consolidation. Consolidation purpose or group reporting purpose. Now operational chart of accounts is the most common chart of accounts which is used in a market. Why? Because see, in SAP implementation, SAP is implemented by multinational companies. I told you, right? 
where the turnover is in thousands of crores. Okay. So when I'm talking about multinational business, we are having different different company codes. Right? At least now you have sense to know what is company code and how many company codes. Remember, if one implementation project, there may be 20, 25 company codes. How many? 25 company codes. And it's it's not like all 25 company codes in same country. Maybe these 25 company codes in 25 different countries. Are you getting it? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm wantedly making it critical. Why? Because you really want to be a consultant, then this must be an explanation. If you really want to be a student or candidate or a kid, then I know how to finish within 15 minutes. I'm a different type of driver for different type of people. Why I'm going in depth with you guys because all are experienced. I accept one guy here. I'm sorry for you, but you are also having some advantage to sit with this experience then. Okay, I hope you are getting it. So what I said here is 25 company codes with 25 different countries or 25 company codes with a different sort of business in the same country. So if you use operational chart of accounts, the best advantage for you is if you create ledgers for one company code, you are you are having an opportunity to copy the same ledgers, the same set of accounts for other company codes also. Are you getting? That's the reason. If you are using one box, then these two. There is another box when you are assigning chart of accounts to company code, which is country specific. No matter whether you want operational or country specific, if you create one chart of accounts, you can use it into two boxes. Is it clear? So when you go through with general ledger structure, first point, you will come to know the name of, I mean, the meaning of chart of accounts. The second point, assign, will give you the details of this. So three type of chart of accounts. Now, what you have seen is three type of creation of general ledgers. Now, what is it? What is it? See, one is centrally. That means if you use this transaction code, I mean, this is just a short key which opens the screen without navigation. Okay. So if you use centrally, that means the ledger what you have created can be copied to other company codes. Now, if you are creating a ledger with specific chart of accounts, okay, that means uh, you want to create a chart of accounts for service sector. Now, you, you can't go through these set of ledgers for you know, trading sector. You know, there are two types of accounting, trading, non-trading. I hope you guys are aware of this. On long back, we have seen in education. So, in life practice, you got trading and non-trading. What's the difference? Any idea? All our final guys. I have cleared this point in chart of accounts. Uh, trading is to do with goods, uh, well as, whereas non-trading is services. I'm asking a question uh, with the reporting perspective. What is the difference in reporting? Have you gone through chart of accounts, Lejo? I, I've or just uh, brushed uh, through the first video, so I haven't uh, completed the entire... No, no, no need. No need to complete the entire geo structure. If you have just completed chart of accounts, that's enough. You are uh, very much fit to answer this question. For trading, we prepare p &L account, right? The outcome is right. net profit or net loss. But for service? Uh, uh, income and expenditure. Income and expenditure. Yes. That's the difference, right? Excess of income over expense or excess of expense over income. Okay. So, a specific chart of accounts. Now, if you want to create ledgers to a specific company code, that's what I said. One is, you know, uh, a manufacturing concern. Another one is a service concern. Then both the company codes are different, correct? That's what I said. Tata Automobile, Tata Teleservices. Both are different, right? Do you wish to use the same set of accounts for both the company codes? No. Is it clear or not? No. So if you use central, that means if one ledger, like not all ledgers are different, few ledgers are different, right? Do you agree with 
Do you agree? Like a rent. Yes, rent is common. Salary. Yes, salary is common. Convenience. Yes, it is common. Office expenses. Yes, it is common. Apart from few ledgers, which are different, you are not going to use these two. But SAP has given an opportunity. Yes, you can create ledger by using these two options also. But if you create with central option, that means the ledgers what you have created or configured for or customized for one company code can be easily copied to other company codes. It saves your time. That's the advantage to create general ledger by using central option. Is it clear? Yes, any questions? I'm clear. If you, if, you, if you use the first option and you have created ledger, for example, I'm going to another screen. I'll close this. You see, this administration expenses, see, this guy has created rent account and purchase account. There is no office expense account. So what I'll do now, what is this company called? JPMN. I will go to another company code which already exists into this. Uh, FT01. Okay. Is that? Yes, it's there. So, in administration expenses, see here, traveling expenses is there. Is that this ledger is there in JPMN? No. Only two expenses were there. The third one is not there. So, what I'll do, I'll keep the cursor here and I'll click the copy. Now, from this company code, to this company code. What's my company code? Or JP RETMN. No, no, no. RETMN yeah, yeah, got to yet to start. Huh? I don't want to disturb that. Yeah, yeah. I just want to show you if you use central, if you use this option, what's the advantage? You can easily copy. Right? So I'm copying from FT01 to JP Evan company code. I'll press enter. Now see here. The entire ledger, uh, everything has been copied here. So I'll click on save. Okay. Maybe this account group which this company have created is different. That's the reason it's not copied. Same set of accounts, same account group, then you can easily copy. Is it clear? Here, let me check this. Wait a minute. And here it is also the same set is there. Okay. I hope you have got what I mean to explain here. Any confusion? Now what is this? This is nothing but a transaction code FS00. There are two ways to open the screen. One is to navigate. How I have been here? I'll close this. Now as an end user you got a requirement to create the ledger. The first way is to navigate. How you are going to navigate? Accounting, accounting. Financial, financial accounting, accounting. then Under. general ledger, master, master record. record, year account, individual processing, send. Just double click on it. The moment you double click on it, see, this is your screen where you can create your ledgers. About this screen also a few points are there which needs to be clarified. I'll clarify within a moment. Huh? So let me show you the another way. What's another way? The other way is to use this four character code. What is this? Transaction code. Transaction. Just like a shortcut. You know, control S, control C, control V, control F. All these are window shortcuts, right? Which is used to find, copy, paste. Correct? So here is also transaction code is used for quick access. Okay. Now some are standard transaction code. Some are those transaction codes which have been modified by the technical team for business security. Now tomorrow you are joining a company where you are working as a general ledger accountant or general ledger in charge. Where you have seen there is no FS00. What's that? Maybe that is Z001. So these are standard transaction codes. If it is changed, yes, they will let you know with user manual. They will give you the list of transaction codes which they have changed for business security purpose by technical or else mostly standard transaction codes is used. Is it clear? So 
as a quick access, you can type these four transaction codes here. How's that? FF00, the four character code. This box is known as command field. You can use this command field to type these four characters. The moment you press enter, you will be on that screen. See, I'm on that screen. Do I need to navigate? No. So first way is to navigate. Now, I've told you how to navigate. Second is the transaction code. How to use that transaction code? We just need to type this four character code in this box. Now, there are three ways to use this transaction code. If you are on easy access screen, then you can simply type four character exactly what has been given, FS00, and press enter. Immediately that screen is open. Now imagine you are not on easy access screen. Listen carefully and it is on recorder. If you are on easy access screen, please use four character code. Sometimes you are on different screen, like I'm on F-0, I'm on posting screen. Now where I have realized that, oh, I'm about to post a transaction where the ledger is not in my list. So I have to access FS00 to create ledgers. Now what to do? Now if I'm on other screen other than easy access, now typing FS00 is not enough. See, if I use FS00 and press enter, system says nothing. Okay, so what to do now? Use slash n followed by transaction code FS00. Is it clear now? What I did? Slash n. Now what happens with slash n is using slash n will close the present screen and open a new screen on a same screen. Is it clear? Yes. Now I'm, I'm on F F-02. I'll press enter. So what system did? System has closed F-02 and opened FS00. FS00. Now, this is your second way. Third way to create general ledger, if you are on other screen, and you, you want a quick access to create the ledger, then you can use slash O. Slash O. Means, without closing the current session, see, the one screen which is open, what you are seeing, the user interface, is one session. Likewise, you can open six sessions. How many? Maximum six sessions you can open. In my basic, uh, you know, sessions, I have already explained it. If you go through with all those recordings, you will come to know about all these points. I'm just talking about using a transaction code with different modes. Is it clear? See, I'm on F-02. Now I'm using slash O FS00. Press enter. Now what happens? My F-02 is also there and my FS00, FS00 is also open here. How do see? How many sessions are open here? One, two, and three, which I have opened earlier. Is it clear now? See, why I'm spending much time because this is your first day on master data. Now, I'm not going to spend again and again on this basic activity. Once you are aware, that's enough. That will help you for future discussions as well. Is there any confusion? Now, the people who are using offline servers or the other systems, sometimes may happen when you go to accounting, financial accounting, gen general ledger, okay, master data, GL accounts, individual processing, you are unable to see this transaction code beside this X. That means you have to go to extra setting, okay, this checkbox, display technical name. The other name for transaction code is known as technical name. If this checkbox is unchecked, then you are unable to read this transaction code. Is it clear now? I have given you multiple points here. Yes, any confusion? See, if I remove this, what happens? I've removed this and I press enter. Now system refreshed this. I'll go to accounting, financial accounting, general ledger. 
master data, here accounts, individual processing. Where is my transaction port? No, gone, right? Okay, so if you want that to come back, go to extras, settings, okay, display technical name, checkbox, press enter. This is for those people who are using offline servers. Otherwise, you know, you may be confused that, oh, in his system it's working, in my system, why not? That confusion may disturb your mind and you keep on trying to reach me on WhatsApp. I got stuck up here, now what to do? I don't want that. That's the reason, even this basic point, I kept in front of you. So I hope now it's quite clear about navigation. May I proceed if this is completed? Yes, sir. Is anybody who is having confusion about navigation, transaction code, using of transaction code with different screen, with different different sessions? No, sir. Okay. I'm here. okay. Just double click on it if you are using a navigation, or else you can, you know, simply use FS double click. Present it. Now, as a new system, you may not see this uh, particular screen in too high. Now, you are seeing the screen got break up with two portions. The left portion is showing you the hierarchy of accounts in each account groups, like in indirect expenses. See, I can see how many expenses are there. Okay, if I go for current assets, how many current assets, current liabilities, you know, reserves and surplus, then share capital, right? So, in each group, you are able to see this. The other method, initially what happens if your system is fresh, see, you just go to settings, do not display. You got two options. Display will give you a hierarchy. Do not display will give you the second half which is very dangerous, see here. Now, I'll press enter. I have to refresh this, slash n, FL00. I have to refresh this screen. Now, can you see this? This screen is not user friendly. Now, what it is, it is just showing you to create ledger account by just simply give the number, okay, give in which company code, select the account group, give the text, and fulfill the other options, then click on save means how many ledgers in an MNC? Minimum 2,000, 2,500 ledgers will be there. Remember that. If it is a multinational business, minimum 2,000 ledgers. I am not saying six, but what I have seen in big projects is like, you know, 1,500 to 2,000 ledgers. Now, out of that 2,000 ledgers, you are having 120 or 150 indirect expenses. Now, you are unable to see your indirect expenses list here. So, do you think it is very friendly for a user to directly post a transaction without knowing that in which ledger is posting it? Now, the another advantage here is what if rent account has been created with four general ledger posts? Suppose a client is having a requirement to create rent accounts with this size. Honestly speaking, if you go through with this level, up, definitely you can play like anything as a consultant. A rent account I have created for Hyperpod. Rent account I have created for Kerala. Now this is for later. Okay. Rent account. Okay. I have created for some you know different people who are coming from Bangalore back background. Okay. Now. What if a client is having three rent accounts? <coughs> now I'm able to see which rent belongs to which one. Now this is four double zero three double zero. Now this one is four double zero three zero one. Now this one is four double zero three twenty. So do you think there is a confusion? Yes. It is. So the people who are unable to see the display a proper mode, then please go to settings, hierarchy display, display accounts in navigation tree. Okay, then press enter. This system says that whatever settings you have been, it will be restarted. Means you have to refresh this. Okay, press enter. Just click on enter here. Then 
type your transaction again so that this screen is refreshed with two parts, two portions, slash n fs00. Now you can see the other part, navigation tree. Is it clear now? This is about this screen. Now, here you can see your transaction code in which screen you are. If you are unable to see the transaction code, you just click here and click on transaction so that you can see the transaction code easily for all those end user schemes. Honestly speaking, if you are an end user, you can, you know, by heart these transaction codes or else it is not required. See, sometimes what people are doing, you know, I know every configuration, I know all transaction codes, all transaction codes and configuration is on my fingertips. Now, what is that percentage of success in my interview? If you are asking this question to me, I will tell you 0.01%. Yes, it's correct, 0.01%. So don't put behind, don't, don't put your mind behind transaction codes or by having transaction codes. This is just a reference which is used by end users to post a transaction. This has nothing to do with your consulting skills or business solution skills. See, you know transaction code FS00, but you don't know how to fulfill this requirement. Are you a consultant? No. I hope you are getting me. Okay? No. So, see, these are those buttons which I am talking about. This is to create. This is to display, this is to change, this is to copy, this is to block, this is to delete. Okay, this is to change the company code if you want, if you are supposed, if you are an user working on four company codes. So you can switch your company codes by this option. Now, if you have done something, if you want a change or refresh screen, you just click on this. This is just like a refresh button. If you want to Print the list of ledgers, yes, you can use this print option. Now, if you are facing a difficulty, see, now I have only two expenses, so it is very easy for me to know the general ledger code. But what if this style of accounts are used? No? If I go to liquid funds, how many ledgers are there? Now, do you think it is very easy for end user to buy hard all these, you know, uh, general ledger codes? It's quite hard. And if, if we use few, maybe a confusion. And the possibility of mistakes, a risk of mistakes is very hard. Got it? So, to use it, use this find option to find out what it is. Okay, don't buy hard. If you want to find out in a quick way, you can use this button. Okay, so let's see the functionality of these buttons with practical testing. Any confusion till now? Any confusion no, till now? I'm no. No, sir. Clear. Uh, before creating any ledger, if I try to switch company code, see what happens. I'll click on change company code. What's my company code? What's our client? What we have started implementation? R -E -T. R -E -T -R. R -E -T. Please remember this company code huh? well, because whatever modules you are going to configure in future or future discussion, everything will be in R T A. Okay. Now press enter. See, you got a message. Specify an existing value. Why you got this message? So what people do, you know, they will take a snapshot and share it in a WhatsApp. Anwar, I got this ticket. First of all, what? why I am using the word ticket? Ticket is nothing but error, issue in ERP. What is it? That means this is something which is stopping me to change my company code. So, you, this is not a ticket. First of all, the color of this message is blue. If the color is green, this is just an information. If it is yellow, warning. If it is red, then that is a ticket. Got it? So, why this message? Because you haven't created even a single ledger. First, create the ledger, then switch the company to see the ledger. Okay. Now. Just press enter, then press enter. Now, close it. Click on create. Now see, the first question, what system is asking me is the code. You know, in chart of accounts, how many characters we have selected? Six characters. 
and we have created few account groups. So based on that account group, you have to create the ledgers. Okay. So I have another session opened here. I'll go to a transaction code slash m o b d four. Use this transaction code o b d four. Press enter. Click on position. What's that chart of account which I'm using right now? R E T A. R E T A. Press enter. Now my first target is to create one expense, one bank account. Why? Because one debit, one credit. If you know how to create one expense, you can create hundred dollars. One debit, one credit. I'll create one debit and one credit as of now. Later, you can create based on requirement. Now, so if I am looking forward to create expense account, that is a bank account or salary or conveyance or any indirect expense. Now, what is that GL code which is going to start with four double zero two, four double zero three double nine? That means I can create hundred expenses here. So, what will be my first? Ledger four double zero three double zero. So by using this transaction code, I have checked the range of number range. I mean range of numbers. What I have allotted to this account group. So first I have checked four double zero three double zero. So come here where I am in FS double zero. So give that code here four double zero three double zero. In which company code I have to create this account? Hari, Hari. Yes. Press enter. The moment you have given your GL code and company code, these fields will get freezed. You can't change this. If you want to change this to three zero one, please cancel this. Cancel this. Okay. And you refresh with transaction code. Is it clear now? Yes. So you have decided. To create your first ledger with four double zero three double zero. Now, in which account groups? All these account groups are pop up here. Why? Because these account groups you have created in your chart of accounts. See, all these are your chart of accounts. Can you see that? Yes, sir. Yes. This is what. All these chart of accounts you have created for RETL. Can you see that? These account groups are created uh, nearly 12 or 14 account groups are there. Now, based on requirement, you can create 16, 20, 25. Okay. Now, in a business blueprint, I have showed you. You please go through that report. Uh, you have an idea about what is it all about. Is it clear? All these account groups are getting pop up in this drop down. Now, what that I have targeted to create indirect expense. And the range which I have selected is for indirect expense. If by mistake I am trying to select another group where the range is different, so system will give me an error. Let me show you that screen again. My range for indirect expense is starting from four double zero. So I have to create. Ledger in this particular group. Now, all in one, I have started creating in another group. Rent account. I am trying to select with current asset. See what happens. My series four double zero three double zero is for administration expense. Now I am trying to select current asset here. System will give me a red message. Can you see that? Now what is this? This is your ticket. Yeah. Error. Account group two double zero one double zero. Two one double zero nine for this current liability or current asset, not for current asset. Now please correct it. Drop down, select administration expense. The moment you select the correct account group, that message is gone. Is it clear now? Now you have selected administration. Is it related to PNL account or balance sheet? Expenses or PNL. If you are creating current assets or current liability, please switch to balance sheet. Okay. Now, short text, long text. Two fields are there. Remember, short text is used for reporting purpose. Long text is used for posting purpose. Okay. The purpose is different. Huh? Now, sometimes I have seen people are using this 
this is not like I have, I have created rent, rent account as a short text. Now in next I have created colon. Have you got this? No, no. Okay. You add that if you want to add. That. Just trying to explain what's the difference between short text and long text. This is also an interview question. Why you have to create ledgers with two different texts? Yes, one for reporting purpose, another for posting purpose. Now what do you say? In reporting, you can see your rent account is posted with file as. Now at the time of posting, colon account debit to colon account credit. How will it look? Hmm? Yes, how, how it looks like. Do you understood that? Yes, any confusion? I hope you people are getting this. So one is a complete text, another one is a short text. Print text. Is it clear now? This is the way. Both are important. Don't go for trading partner. This is for ECCS, consolidation purpose. This is not your concern. Okay. So in your first tab, that is type and description, I have used this. Now go to control data, control data tab, then use only balance in local currency. Okay. This means this ledger is used for posting transaction which is for only local currency. If you want to switch the currency, not only INR but you want to post in US dollar or euros and all, please don't select this. Okay. So use this checkbox only if it is posted for local currency. One more point I would like to clarify here. If you are seeing multiple inputs here, this doesn't mean that you are authorized to use every field here. This is based on requirement, will come up here and will use these features. If not, you are not concerned to use additional features as of now. Okay. So in control data tab, what I did, I have checked this box, only balance in local currency. The next, select line item display. Line item display in the sense, if you select this feature in your ledger, when you double click on amount, system will break up those entries into different lines. Suppose, I'll show you one report. Hmm. Let me use this. Here. Slash and FAGL B02. This is one ledger report which I am showing you. Uh, portable zero, readable zero, the same ledger. Another company corner which is already completed. I am trying to show you that data. Exit Now, can you see this? This is a ledger report which is for a rent. Now, debit is showing a very big figure. Now, we, as an accountant, it is your first the duty to check why it is showing me 1170823. So now the report which is showing you a cumulative figure. Don't you wish to see the breakup of this figure? Yes, it is. Then when you double click on it, now system will break up this figure into multiple lines. Now what kind of view it is? This a line item view. Can you see this? One is two. Three transactions, totally three documents, is 1170, 823. 11,70,823. Is it clear? Now, what happens when you have selected line item display option at the time of creation of this ledger, you are being given an advantage to go through line by line details. Is it clear now? See, sometimes your interviewer may ask you that why LID is used. LID line item display. This is also an interview question. A lot of people what they think, you know, ah, such a simple option, nobody will ask me. See, in an interview, one guy has asked, you know, a question, what's the meaning of journal? All our accountants here, let me shoot the same questions to all of you. Everybody is accountant, right? What's this? Now don't tell me the initial bookkeeping. What's the actual meaning of here? Keeping notes like day-to-day uh, -day things will be written like news. Uh -huh. 
Sir, sender is nothing but a recording at random. One who have answered this, no? And in Norland, the channel is Norland. Just a word in your mouth. What is the meaning of that particular word? I am not asking whether it is a book or where it is. Yes, it is a uh, book where you first draw the transaction. Then later on you are going to shift to ledgers, then from ledgers to trial balance, then from trial balance to different rules of trading, P&L account and apology. Ledger, any idea? So keeping oh, all the notes. <laughs> you people are... Book of first entry and trading account. Exactly. Initial. All that means? Initial. So why have we asked you this question? Because now this option, what you have just seen, is looking like you know it's a simple option. Nobody will ask you about this. Just they may ask you a question. So that's the meaning of entry. Okay. So please select this. So when you are clicking on Control Tab, only balance in local currency, line item display. The advantage of this checkbox is in reporting. I have showed you. This. Now next is sort key. Sort key will sort the data based on, you know, this is just like filter, you know, sorting option. All are familiar with Excel. Filter option. Know that, right? So you can sort the data based on the feature what you have selected here. Almost in SAP, 37 to 38 default option. I mean, standard sorting options have been given. See here. You can sort your data by assignment number or by posting date, by document number and fiscal year, by document date, by branch, by local currency, by call center that is department, by vendor, by purchase order and so on. Right? See, in day to day life of an accountant, is that all vouchers what you guys are receiving from different departments is in order? Is in order? No. So whenever you are receiving such vouchers with, you know, multiple bundles, your first target is to sort out based on bill numbers or date or branches, correct? Whichever is good for you. Now, the best option which I am su suggesting you, I am not forcing. See, sometimes client is interested to select sorting by posting date. So you can use your sort key is a three character code, 001. Now, if I'm using 001 here, that means my rent account is going to get sorted or detailed view will be based on posting date. Sometimes, see, when you click on multiple options, sometimes management would like to see based on document date. Now, the best option for audit is document number based on fiscal year. See, document number 10 is posted in 2021. Is that document number 10 is not going to be in 2022 and 2023? Yes. It could be. Are you getting? No, coming here. Yeah. Yes, yes, it is. So, based on requirement, based on client's interest, you open this option and discuss with the client. These are all sorting options is there. Now, which one is best for you, for your requirement? They may say, we'll go with posting date. Okay, select triple zero. If they are cross-questioning you, or if they are seeking an advice, as you are a financial advisory, you are a consultant, now you got some multiple experiences from your past implementations, then you may say that, now, if you ask me personally, Anwar, what you do to suggest? I will suggest you to go with zero zero two. Now, based on, see, if this is indirect expenses. Now, based on ledger, yes, you can switch the sorting key. Like, if it is asset, definitely I will go with asset number. See, you are having an asset ledger. How, how would you like to maintain ledgers for assets? I'm having 10 laptops. I'm having 10 laptops in my office. Now, all of a sudden, uh, you know, as a technical head, I have received an email from one of the employees that, you know, my laptop needs an urgent repair. Now, which laptop? 
my question is which laptop you come to cabin number 10 laptop number 10 laptop number 9 laptop number 9 this is how you identify your asset correct maybe laptop number 10 is one year old laptop number 5 is two years old is it the same amount of depreciation no so when you are maintaining ledgers for asset you have to switch sort key to 01h now when you are posting an invoice okay you need a sorting by purchase order likewise cost centers likewise branches okay so as of now what's best use it document number along with fiscal year any questions here I got to complete all those points but still I'm in one button only I don't know how much time it's going to take well anyway it's, it's good going right is there any problem till now to understand these stuffs what I'm discussing it's big detail yes. honestly speaking if you pick up a press release from SAP for general ledger module that press release is 2785 pages it's just like a Shakespeare's novel would you be interested to go through with all those papers no right the extraction is going on in front of you so this is best to understand the subject practically okay so I'll be going with 002 any questions or any inputs here yes team of accountants from various departments various specializations various MNC various exposures okay. and different experience now would you be interested to go with me by selecting 002 or 001 or 003 that's what I'm asking I'll go with 002 as in the, the same <laughs> diplomatic answer eh? yes 002 let's go with this but during workout when you people are working on your company codes please don't repeat this company code for workout huh? use your own company codes use your own practice and at that time you can switch to some other sort keys you wish okay now click on create bank interest tab here see I have made one setting in my final structure that is global structure you have one configuration known as field status variant under that we have field status group in that field status group I have made some rules for controlling a transaction controlling a line item g001 g005 yes the other guys hope you are uh, you know what I'm talking about g001 make text as required entry business area as required entry right do you know that so here yeah. I'll assign that g001 so what that 0001 this is a rule where I have made text as required entry or business area as required entry that means whenever user is posting any transaction by using this ledger he has to compulsory fill text field business area field like I'll show you what it affects this field will control your line item see here slash n f-02 I'm just trying to show you how it works out now I'm in other company code still my RETL is not complete but the ledger is safe 400300 40 is nothing but debit huh? the moment I press enter see I have given an amount by lakh see here this check bar a uh, check box what you are seeing is a right click click mark is none other than a required field these two fields are required fields. see what happens for my ledger I have given an amount I am trying to switch I have not given any narration I have to write down rent paid for the month of so and so for so and so office no no detail now posting key 50 is nothing but used for credit 200100 this is my bank office now I am trying to press enter is it possible see system has stopped me how system has stopped me because of that rule which I have configured in G001 and I have assigned to a ledger at the time of creation of ledger I have assigned that group here is it clear 
please give that G001 here. For all indirect expenses, you can assign the same group. Okay, now save it. So data got saved, but I am unable to view my ledger. Now you can change the company code. Why? Because our first ledger is ready. View company yeah. code R E T L. Press enter. See, my first account group is here. The script. Now, I hope all guys knows now how to create ledgers here. Now let me create another ledger in a quick view. Now, how to create another ledger? Click on create. Now, what's the next three number for me? Three not four. Three zero zero already three acquired. Three zero one. Is it okay if I go for three zero one? Yes. Sir. Ledger agree? If it is expenses. If it's an uh, administrative huh? expense. Uh, okay, fine. I will, now I'll operate this. Let's go for a small surgery for this option. Huh? Imagine this is your requirement. This is your requirement. What you are going to do now? There are three types of rent. Okay, and there are three types of salary. Are you getting? It? Three types of okay. salary. Location wise. Honestly speaking, if the guy who is just a, a you know a trainer or teacher or you know the one who is having a configuration knowledge is going to sit with me and go mad. Huh? Honestly speaking, if your managers are going to sit in front of you to take the opinion or input, definitely you will be on no wrong position. Why? Because your thinking is different than those people. See, I ask a common question as a layman. You people are newcomers. You have just seen. You are just two minutes old on general ledger creation screen. But look at the mindset. What I am trying to prepare for consulting. This is the requirement. Huh? Now, four double zero three one zero. That means the rent which I have started is from three zero zero. That means I kept a gap of ten characters. I mean ten ten codes here. Why? Because maybe. There are ten categories of friends in, in which I have created only three. Seven are yet free to create the other rent category. Now, if it is salary, then from three ten to three twenty is my salary range. I hope you got it. Salary at Hyderabad, salary at Kerala, salary at Bangalore, Delhi, Lucknow. All you can use it. Is it clear? So this is how you can maintain. So tomorrow you may have some, you know, bank. You have some cash accounts. See, cash account, cash account at Hyderabad, no, cash account at Bangalore. Okay, cash account at Visor, Visor G. Now, don't you think that <coughs> a category is getting displayed here? Cash is a series, rent is a series, and salary is a series. Of course, you are correct. If I go for three zero zero one, three zero one, no problem, hundred percent perfect. But what if? The client requirement is different. The way I have shown in an example, don't you think that you have to use some different strategy, different logic? Okay, let's skip this. I'll switch the company for a sample data, which is there in a system. Triple zero one. Enter. Now see, liquid funds. This is an international account for you know SAP Germany. Mock data, demo data, which is given for practice. Now liquid accounts. Now how many types of cash accounts are there here? Can you see that? Petty cash, petty cash, petty cash, petty cash. All are petty cash. Now, how many checking accounts are here? Checking, 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 checking. How many banks? All are bank accounts. DTA accounts, Duce banks. Can you see that? Now, what if this logic is interested by the client or required by the client? Now, if I take your solution, like you said, okay, go for three zero zero. Three zero one. I have created three zero zero for rent, three zero one for salary, three zero two for condemn. Then again three zero four for rent. Now tomorrow, <coughs> if you are paying a rent, now if you don't have those codes, 
if you keep all those rent categories in a same series as an end user you don't have to use more pressure on your mind got it or not i'm sorry my way of uh, discussion is a bit higher now i hope you guys are able to digest it let me see in future how you people are going to implement on your company codes during work out mm-hmm. i will check your company codes also but after general lecture not before general lecture i'll keep an eye on your company codes as well don't worry it is not like you know i i'll come up here i'll work out on retl least care about what you guys are working up and you don't need any assistance maybe uh, my google map shows one path and your google map is showing somewhere else in jungle then you know where you will be in future any questions till now i'm clear no sir got it now no. let me create a quick ledger again 400301 just to make a refresh huh? in which company code press enter and now in type and description in which group admin group admin it belongs to pnl account short text in yes. short text office expenses account okay uh, see i am not going to use that capital letter uh, you know small letter you just go ahead with that huh? all those basic stuff no uh, of course yes it is required huh? why because for reporting purpose and alignment and all otherwise these management guys are dp patients they are not going to accept this let your report in in an indisciplined manner huh? so make sure that the way your management is looking forward the report must be on paper now click on control data tab only balance in local currency check box line item display line item my thought key is going to be 002 okay click on create banking trust tab g001 press enter then click on save the moment you click on save immediately your second ledger is also here now click on create another ledger is it clear now yes sir yes sir so this is just my project let me create yeah like g g001 how it it came sir ha uske liye aapko like local structure complete karna padega you have to complete global structure explanation those recordings then only you can understand why i have selected g001 sir so that's what i i, I told you this is a rule this is a rule which we have configured like where we have selected few points or few inputs few fields are mandatory at the time of posting of transaction like as a user i have tried to skip text right is that system has allowed me to post a transaction without that selections no see tomorrow i am going to post a transaction like rent account debit 5 crores icici bank account 5 crores now no explanation for such entry now as an auditor will you justify or as an accountant will you be able to justify the transaction in future you need some narration right you have to write down for which office outlet for how many branches from which check you paid that you need these inputs right see without explanation no transaction is accepted got it and yeah, so that's it you please go through that global structure in global structure you are okay. having field status in that field status best details have been provided okay and still you are having confusion okay. then come to the point we will discuss yes uh, okay now next we need to create a bank so if i want to create a bank again i have to check the group is that the bank must be created in a same account group Our bank under which account group? No sir, it will come and collect an the current assets. Cash. Current assets. So what? What's the series for current, current assets? Two double zero, one double zero, right? One so one. how many yes. current assets we can create? Two, one uh, hundred current assets. So my first current asset is going to be two double zero, one double zero. Sir, if it is over Click current on. asset hundred, uh, we can create. Sir, उसका भी आंसर आपको for this query also. the answer is there in general ledger structure uske liye aapko second structure complete okay. karna padega okay okay all these medicines is there 
what we have not come across. Huh? Please complete that. Then only you can easily cope up with all these features what I am using up. These are all, all those switches which are connected to that foundation setting. Okay. Now click on create. Two double zero, one double zero. One double zero. Okay. You you company code and press enter here. Okay. Now type in description. Account group. Current. Current. Now select current. current, 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 current. Now it's a balance sheet. Balance sheet. And don't select the balance sheet. My bank, ICICI, ICICI bank account, or you can name any bank account, right? Shop text content, they can control data tab, only balance sheet, only currency, yes. line item, line item, this way, yeah. don't go for open item, short key, short key, 002, okay. click on create bank in the tab. Now, this field status group is G005. Why? Because obligatory value date. You know, obligatory value date, value date is nothing but check date. Obligatory, mandatory. For all transactions you are posting, it requires value date, check date for reconciliation purpose. Okay, so select G005. Now, after this, click on save. Now, see how many groups you have now. You got total two, two groups. Two. One is admin, another one is current asset. Now, if you want to create more expenses, please 302, 303, 305, and so on. If you want to create more banks, current more mode of payments like cash and all, then you are free to create here. Is there any problem with creation? I hope now how to create ledger is yes. create. Yes, okay. yes sir. Now, this display option is just Keep the cursor on ledger like I have selected this and click on display. If you click on display, you can check the inputs or parameters what you have selected at the time of creation. Suppose now it is rent account. You just double click on office expenses. You can see office expenses detail. You can check control data, fields, plus create. This is just for display. Now next is change. This change what I have kept as an MDG. Did you remember that? MDG. Yes, sir. Master, master data, data, governance team, master, master data, team. maintenance team. Sometimes, sometimes a team, sometimes user is equipped with this string. Okay. Now, I have written office expenses here, but the text is not in a proper way. Now, keep the cursor or select the ledger which you are interested to change. Click on change button. See, initially what happens, the moment you save the ledger, system will freeze the field. Now the field, fields are freeze. Is it easy to edit this? Can I write something here? No. It's grayed out. Right? It's disabled. So, to unfreeze this, what you can do? Keep the cursor or select the ledger which you are willing to change. Then click on this pen icon. This is change. The moment you click on change, See, the fields are unfreezed. Unfreezed. Now, what you can do, you know? Yes. I'll, I'll try to change this. Uh, let me change this text in a different way. Now it's small. So what I'll do? All right. I'll use it some as expenses. A slash C. See why I'm coding this much? Why I'm using this much of time on these small features? Because it's your job. A lot of and user queries will be in a meeting. What if user come across this? Now, are you going to contact me in future? No, right? That's the reason I don't want you to stay dependent on me. Be independent. Okay, office expense. Now, see, I have changed the text in a different way. A by C are used for example. Now, clicking on save. Now, is it changed? No, right? See, when I'm displaying it, showing this. That means this is not refreshed. Is it refreshed? No. You just update this. No? Right arrow. Have you seen this? It changed. Yes. Okay. Likewise, if you need anything change here, then you can change this. Now, copy up. 
that means it is the same nature like i want one more indirect expenses to be created with same control data fields plus same fields status group only description is different now see now it is office expenses now i would like to create electricity bill or telephone bill uh, what i have to do keep the cursor here and click on copy the first option the second is you can right click to see all these buttons all these buttons are here okay you can click on copy now the moment you click on copy what happens see you are trying to copy 3012 is it possible to repeat 301 again no no duplicate no what what's the next free number 3022 so yes now see from which company code reference company code to target company code both are same company code if it is different also okay but if it is same chart of account account groups then you can switch it there jo any confusion here no sir uh, i'm clear i'm clear okay. okay 301 to 302 the moment i press enter see if you would change the text if you click on save what happens there will be two office expenses 301 and 302 now which one is the genuine one now which one is duplicate 301 is <coughs> no, that's you are deciding right let user decide which one is correct are you getting me so if that's the position then you can block them and you can set as delete flag if you block them block for creation block for posting block at company code level block at chart of account level then user will not be able to post the transaction by using that duplicate okay so now i'm here to copy right so i'll go there what that other expenses which are same in nature which i have to create okay i'll put this okay i'll be using this uh, process right so i have just changed the short text and long text my group my selection my control data everything is copied can you see that everything is copied so what i just need to change my text now when i click on save i have another account here can you see that this is how you can copy is it clear now yes sir If you, if you select this, this is an expense which is no more used in our accounting. First reason. Second, duplicate ledger. Second reason. So what you can do, you can keep the cursor here and click on block. Now see, first option is block for creation. Means it won't allow you to copy. It won't allow you to create in other company code. Second, postings block. third planning if this expenses is used in costing purpose planning a budget purpose now you can't plan for this why because this is blocked or right. the next option is blocked in company code blocked in chart of account level blocked in company code level. so if you use this block option by using this block if you try to post a transaction see let me give you an example here by blocking an account in other company code not in rta fp01 I'm in another company code, and I'm blocking office expenses account. Four double zero three zero. Block, block, block. I've blocked everywhere. So what's my company code? FT zero one. Four zero three zero one is blocked. Save it. Now let me test this by posting a transaction. Slash n F dash zero two is the transaction code which is used to post a transaction. I select today's date. Look at in which company code I am trying to post this transaction. FT zero one. What's my GL three zero one? Okay, press enter. What's the message? Account four double zero three one. Last posting. Is it allowing me to post a transaction? No. Okay. No. I hope understood. Huh? That's. Once we yes. booked, then we are able to uh, make the unblock. Change. Yes, you can unblock. You can unblock. It is not like yes, maybe some seasonal expenses after four sir, months. It will not affect. Not sir, unblock. I have one question. It will not affect some uh, penal account. 
see for example one uh, line item has been booked or posted then it got mm -hmm. been blocked from our side or uh, it cannot okay. affect on chain record what all transactions are posted that figures will be there in report okay okay it will stop you for future future jobs okay you want to block now see i'll go to block of option i'll end block it maybe seasonally you want to block it changes in any sir we can change the uh, changes in any point of time as per any reference. point of time any point of time if you are authorized that's what i said yeah in live environment mostly clients are not interested to give these options these features in end users hands otherwise you know what to do your last month salary is deducted now you will try your best when you are in notice period to destroy the accounts of client ha na salary cut yes i put choose sir then ha i mean notice period of 15 days i will try my best to do, you know ask uh, keep my name on top now after my release now the accountant who is going to take over the charge will scratch his head like anything i'm sorry i'm not training you in a wrong way and don't ask such solutions for me also do i am an auditor i am a charge accountant but i know a lot of uh, solutions but i'm not going to put in front of you guys why because who knows if you use those options in future who trade and this fellow is i don't want that i don't want to get blame at the end of the day as le joke hope it is clear now uh, don't ask me such solutions sir huh? is it clear any questions for this no now if you are selecting this and you are trying to delete now you keeping this option as just delete huh? mark as deletion will allow you to process this is just a warning delete flag what is the meaning of flag flag is mostly used for warning right so instead of keeping a delete flag please use block if you want to permanently stop user for posting okay so this is if you mark deletion also what happens you can post it on you can post the transaction you know okay i'll unblock this what i did 301 i've just save whatever changes you are doing you just save it so i've just kept a flag now what happens if i try to use the 02 see wait a testing with proof i'm showing you these options sir. now 400 301 press enter now see i got a warning the color of message is yellow that means this is warning if you press enter keep going system will allow you so which one is best block block or delete block block yes okay don't use your notice period for these options sir <laughs> the next the next one is change company code you know now you are in fp01 you are changing your company code to rtl then you can see your ledger what you have created for okay this company code now update you know is the refresh button if you want to take a print out of this you just click on print system will print all these list of ledgers now find like you know tomorrow you have 2000 ledgers in in hierarchy now this is full of hierarchy you are unable to find out a ledger which you are searching for that means what you can do see here now here i want my cursor to be on 301 this is just like search control s press enter now see system has find it now if you want 3200 one double zero press enter now see system has highlighted me in this that's it so now the first point is completed what is that ledger 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 yes i think i have to stop here almost a big time huh? go ahead with these details let's see this uh, postings and reportings tomorrow why because at the time of posting you will be getting some tickets also I have to give some solutions as well and then two types of posting big detail is there if i start posting now easily it is going to be another one and a half hours i think that 
you know, going to be exhausted. Uh, you just try to understand these details first. Yes? Any questions for these books, what we have discussed today? Any queries? So one more question I have, sir. See, hmm. whatever the implement, I mean, after implementation also, we can uh, make changes or block anytime, sir? Hey, this is master data. Yes, you can do that. Okay. You can do that. Okay. See, in this discussion, uh, you know, you know, how to deal with the duplication, how to deal with, you know, uh, if ledger, sometimes, you know, a project is going on. Based on that project, some specific additional expenses are there, which are not regular in nature. Yeah. Often used only for that particular site, only that for that particular construction or that particular project. Then you have to block after that, right? See, once that, you know, ledger is created, once that ledger is created and posting is done, you can't delete that. Even if you can set for deletion, you can't that delete that transaction, I told you, right? If you are unable to delete the transaction, how can you delete the ledger? Got it? Yes, I'll go to FS00 again. Any questions? With all clear, I close this box. Yes, sir. Yeah, my side is clear. Okay. I'm clear as well. I'm clear as well. Okay. Okay. I'll close this box. Thanks for joining. That's all for today. Catch you guys tomorrow at the same time. Bye for now. Thank you, sir. Bye.